Did, did you just double dip that chip? <laughs> you double dip the chip. Double dipped? What, what, what are you talking Hey everyone, about? welcome back to Double Dipping and Sipping. And we have yet another Pringles favorite flavor. This one is Wendy's Spicy Chicken. I think I'm a... Here we go, spicy again. <laughs> I think I'm a bit of a connoisseur on Wendy's, <laughs> although this isn't part of the dollar menu. Uh, it's part of the uh, I got money menu. Yeah. So uh -huh. I don't know that I had too many of these, but I do like the Wendy's spicy have you chicken. Had, have you had it? I have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's good. Yeah. Just ask Tom. He knows. He's had every spicy chicken from every fast food restaurant that you know. Mm -hmm. We did the entire gamut. Popeyes. We? We did not. I did the entire <laughs> gamut. <laughs> Every chicken out there I have tried. All right, yeah. We're going to pair this with Yeehaw Brewing. Yeehaw! Yeehaw Dunkel. We got this in Tennessee when we were there. I don't remember, I don't know if you remember the Nashville episode that we had with the Nashville hot chicken chicken chips. There's a shocker that Yeehaw was in Nashville. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, and doing a little bit of research, I wish we would have went there. To Looks, the brewery? To the brewery. Looks kind of cool. We did go to other ones. We yeah, have time. it is. Uh, Yeehaw Brewing began in 2015 in Johnson City, Tennessee, in a renovated historical train depot called. Ready for this? No. Really. The Tweetsie Depot. <laughs> Doesn't that make you just want to go there anyway? Yeah. This depot served the East Tennessee and Western North Carolina railroads from Johnson City into the mountains of North Carolina. The train was nicknamed Tweety for its loud <laughs> whistle that echoed through the mountains. <laughs> it is now home to Yeehaw Brewing Company and several other businesses revitaling, revitalizing the area. Excuse me. Yeehaw has three locations in Tennessee and one in South, South Carolina. So they've really expanded on yeah, wow. their brand. That's a lot. Yeah, and I really like the... Uh, the can too. It's yeah. kind of a cool can. I mean, they're getting the yeehaw across for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeehaw! Um, it is a Dunkel. Uh, Dunkel is German for dark. Mm -hmm. This dark beer style offers beer lovers balanced flavors of chocolate, bread crust, and caramel. Bread crust? According to Untapped and Weird. the beer connoisseur. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think um, I like the chocolate part, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the description of the Dunkel beer on the Yeehaw website. Mm. It says, bring on the bottle brown, baby. If you <laughs> dig the dark but skip the slog through heavy stouts, meet your new beer friend. <laughs> if chocolate and beer had a baby, they'd name it Dunkel. Oh, that's very cute. It is cool. Except for, I'm curious, why did you decide to pair this beer with the chips that we're having today? Because Tom? this is the only beer that I had in the fridge that I didn't know what to do with. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what do you really spice, what do you really pair with? Wendy's spicy chicken. I don't know. I mean, is that a, is that like a goza? Is that a sour beer? I don't think it really no, goes with that's sour. No, just a plain old like. Doesn't really go with stout. That's just a basic, maybe like Coors Lightish beer. Yeah. All right, let's see if this one has the freshy. All right. Ready for the uh, Pringles pop? Mm -hmm. We're gonna call that the Pringles pop here from now on. Okay. Ready for the Pringles pop? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, I think that other one did better. That is the sound of a fresh can of Pringles. Oh, I thought that was a little bit lame. Really? Well, yeah. I don't think it, I don't think those hobbits. Comparatively to the other ones that we, we've opened. Yeah, well, we did the, the what was it, the P Pringles habanero, pineapple habanero one. That, that didn't one have any mean, pop. No, and then they tasted a little Those scary. are the ones I got for 25 cents. So. But remember the ones we did with um, apples, cheddar, smoked, whatever? Those had a huge those, pop. Boom! That's because the smoke compressed inside and went kaboom. Oh, yeah. Mmm. All right, so. Definitely smells like a chicken sandwich. Okay. Mmm. Oh. Whoa! They're, it's really spicy. Oh, yeah, spicy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, spicy right off the bat. Woo! You feel like, like yeah, if I close my eyes, I'm having a Wendy's chicken sandwich. But mm. see, here's the thing is I would never order a spicy chicken sandwich. Mm. I don't know if you hear the rain. It's about to unleash on us mm -hmm. right here out in the shop. Mm. Now, that I've had, now that I've had about three or four. Ooh, I can't. I don't know. I can't. I don't know if I can do any more of those. Woo. Man up, Kelly. Woo. <laughs> you man up. 
You haven't even tasted your beer yet. Now mm. try it with the beer. It's weird. I'm trying to get the uh, spicy chicken to come through. I get spicy chicken now. Yeehaw! Chocolate. <laughs> you definitely can taste chocolate. Oh, yeah. The beer is good. Mmm. Very, uh, again, caramely. Yeah. Just like a dunkle caramel. Red crust, though. Weird. Mm. Good. I think that beer is pretty good. Yeah. No. You know, I think no. so. The chips are spicy. I can't eat any more of those. Because my mouth's on fire. What don't you like about the tearing? Are oh, just chips too spicy for the yes, beer? Yes, yes. Like, I feel like I need to be having, like, a... So, if these were regular Pringles, how would you like them? I need to have, like, a red beer or, like, maybe a, um, a michelada. Something more Mexican. Something kind of spicy. So, yeah. along the Mexican Mexican route? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Or just, like, a plain old Coors just a Light. Plain old Coors Light. Because you need to, like, clear your that's palate. Kind of, that's kind of your go-to, anyway. You just clear your palate. Have you guys had a red beer? I don't know if you've had a red beer. The red beer is the best. What is a red beer? A red beer, folks, is really, really whatever kind of beer you want. It's usually it's a light beer, kind of just a plain Jane light beer, like the Coors Light with tomato juice. Or some folks like to have it with Bloody Mary mix. Bloody Mary mix? Yeah, you know, sometimes people put, hmm. like if you're at the bar and you want to say, oh, I want some Bloody Mary mix, and then you pour it in your beer and you make a red beer. Hmm. That's actually a better way to have it because then it's got a little bit has a little bit of flavor. Because then you could put like uh, bacon and. No, uh, now you're going uh, way. Over. That's not a red beer. That's not a Bloody Mary beer. That's that's not a thing. <laughs> that's not the same thing. That's not a thing. Now we're turning that into Maybe a thing. Maybe that is a thing, but. Bloody oh, Mary oh, beer, yeah, thing. tall. What about a? I had a lemonade beer before. Have you had a lemonade beer? What's a lemonade? That lemonade? was very good. So before they even made Line and Kugel Shandy. Mm -hmm. Summer Shandy. Mm -hmm. In, I don't know if you guys remember this. Maybe I'm, we're da I'm dating myself. Planet Hollywood. Remember when uh, Sylvester Stallone and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, they owned Planet Hollywood? No. So you must be dating yourself. Yeah, well, it was a pretty cool place. It was like uh, Hard was. Rock Cafe, but for Hollywood. Okay. They had Hollywood paraphernalia all over there. Anyway, in mm -hmm. Aspen... I went there, tried to order a red beer, just mm -hmm. like you like, mm -hmm. and they didn't even know what a red beer was. They offered me a lemonade beer. Oh. I'm like, that sounds awful. Bring it on. And those Aspen folks. Yeah. And it was very good. Lem just lemonade and a Coors Light. And you that mix was, it together? Yeah. And it was the very first, and it tastes just like a lime Because I like lime Coogles. Yeah. Summer Shandy. Mm -hmm. Before a Summer Shandy it's even was try. invented. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now the hail is coming. Okay, so <laughs> on that note. Anyway, okay, so let's wrap this up. Yeah. What do you think you'd give the chips flavor-wise? One to ten. Flavor, I mean, like a nine for sure. Definitely nine, tastes ten. like spicy chicken yep. sandwich. Spice, spot Wendy, on. Yeah, Pringles, Wendy's, good collaboration. Beer. The beer, separate from the chips. Oh, the beer's good. I give like, well, you and know, I'm not a, partial to dark, but yeah. I give like an eight. Eight, yeah, the beer is really good. The beer's I would give good. That, because they, they've they won uh, the bronze award in the World Beer Cup of whatever that year is. 2016? I don't even know where you're looking. Right here? There's no year there, honey. <laughs> 2016? Oh, yes. You were pointing down here. Anyway, so as a dunkle goes, very dunkly. Dunkle. Yeehaw! Oh, Good. yeah, yeehaw. Uh, definitely going here at some point if we get back to Nashville. That was a great trip. That'll be on our list. Oh, for sure. Thanks for watching us, guys. As always, give us a big thumbs up. And as always, we'll leave links in the description for where we got the beers and the chips. And until next time, remember, no double dipping. From now on, when you take a chip, just take one dip and end it.